Hello and welcome to Fix More Waste Less, where I try to fix broken electronics and keep them out of the landfill. Today we have a broken PS4 Slim that does not power on. I bought this PS4 on eBay. Besides the no power, the listing also says it's fairly dirty on the inside. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with. And right away, just from looking at the outside, I can tell that it's a bit more than fairly dirty. It's it's downright disgusting and this worries me a bit because I have a sinking feeling that I know just what's causing this grime to ooze out the sides. But the first thing I need to do to confirm my fears is get the console open. The warranty sticker over the screws already been removed, which tells me someone else has probably already been in here and yet it still doesn't work, which is worrisome. The PS4 Slim is thankfully pretty simple to disassemble. There's a single screw behind the warranty sticker that requires a T8 security torque bit. No reason to use such a bit other than to try and dissuade you from opening the console, so that's a bit annoying if you don't have that particular bit lying around. The only other thing you need to remove at this time is the screw holding in the hard drive. It's located behind this plastic L-shaped bracket that looks pretty grimy as well. At least this screw is a regular Phillips head. With that removed, we can slide out the hard drive and here's our first little roach friend that we find. Let's start a counter and see how many dead ones we find. Now roaches are a common issue with consoles, particularly PS4s. They like to climb in there and nest and breed and do whatever other nasty stuff roaches like to do. I assumed from the level of grime that I wasn't looking at caked on dust, but something much worse. And as we continue to take the console apart, you can see that the top cover just pops off rather easily, which is nice compared to some other consoles out there. And here we see just how bad the infestation is as this grime is all in the edges of the console and there's a second little roach just lying around. I would say this is not a small infestation, but a catastrophic one. Now, most people, most smart people at least, would pop that cover right back on, slide in the hard drive and put those screws back in and throw this thing as far from their house as they could preferably landing in a landfill somewhere. I am just not that smart yet. I want to see just a little bit more before I come to the inevitable conclusion about this one. I will say it was about this time I wish I had gloves on. Smart people would wear gloves when dealing with roaches. Smart people wouldn't deal with roaches at all. But to continue disassembling the console, I have to remove this metal shield. It's held down by two screws. The other two screws hold in the power supply, which is this black box on the back. Still thinking this might be a console I can salvage, I'm trying to decide why it's got no power, other than the fact that roaches have defecated all over the place. But if there's no power to the console, one of the first places to test is the power supply, and roaches can most certainly ruin a power supply. From there, you just have to flip the console over and pop off the bottom cover. Again, it's only held on by a few plastic clips and pretty easy to come off. Removing that reveals even more grime on the bottom, including another little roach just sitting there. Yeah, this thing is just nasty inside and out. Um, it's at this point I start wondering if this is going to be something I can even fix. It's certainly possible to clean a roach infested console. but I've never seen one infested this bad, not with the dead bugs at least, and, and not with this much grime just all over the place. Please leave a comment down below if you've ever seen a console that looked this bad. There's just so much of it on practically every inch. My hands at this point, thanks to my lack of gloves, are just gunked up with grime. They feel disgusting. I feel disgusting. And it smells, but not particularly bad to me, but it's there lingering in the air. At this point, you may be wondering, why is this console so infested with roaches and why was it one of the first things I suspected when seeing its nasty outside? And the reason for this is the heat the consoles give off. It attracts the roaches and it helps them incubate their eggs so that they can hatch more little roaches to go scurrying about. 
I think the modern consoles with their always on the standby features don't help the matter any. Uh, the consoles are constantly drawing a bit of power and therefore constantly generating a bit of heat. This heat attracts them like a moth to a flame. It draws them in. They climb into the power supply and all through the console. Eventually they will walk on something they shouldn't, usually a capacitor, and it will short circuit and that will be the end of them and possibly the end of your console. But for now we'll continue with the disassembly. There is one screw on the bottom that you need to remove in order to get the power supply out. After that we flip it back over and remove the screw holding the antenna in. That should be enough to free the power supply and as it comes free you can see another little friend popping out from underneath the power supply. Thankfully it only popped out, it didn't crawl out, or that might have been enough to get me to just throw this thing in a bag and toss it out right then. And there he goes. Uh, this little antenna was disconnected. Now I have no idea why I felt the need to reconnect it here because it wasn't like this was the reason it wasn't working. Anyway, um, again there's more evidence that the entire system is just covered in this crime. Apparently, some people can be allergic to the shedding that roaches have. It can aggravate lungs and it's really just not good for your health to breathe in. Probably not good to touch either. But never want to give up too easily, I persist a little further in my disassembly. There's a single screw in the middle holding the two plastic covers together. Once that's removed, you can pry apart the covers. These did take a bit more effort to get apart and it's not exactly something you want to be doing with bare fingers. But most power supplies shouldn't be this nasty, should they? Still, you want to take your time to make sure you don't break anything. Once it's apart, we see another little friend just lingering in the power supply. I doubt he was the culprit in all this, but you never know. It could be a combination of things, and that's what makes it so difficult. In fact, you see another roach has now popped out as well. And then as I take the board out, yet another comes flying out. Here, let's take a look at that in slow motion just in case you missed it. Yeah, pretty gross stuff. The inside of the power supply doesn't look any better than the rest of the console. The board is normally yellow, so the discoloration probably doesn't show up that well here, but there's just more of the burnt orange tinge all over the place. I really just don't even know where to start with trying to diagnose the actual issue of no power. If I had an extra power supply lying around, I suppose I could have tried to see if the console itself actually worked. Somehow I doubt that it would have. If I had an ultrasonic cleaner, that might help clean off some of the grime, but it's, it's not going to remove all of it. The discoloration will remain behind. Even scrubbing with something like a magic eraser is not going to do anything for it. So after staring at this grimy mess for a few minutes, questioning many of the decisions that led me here, I decided it was a no fix and started putting the console back together. I just couldn't see myself putting in the time necessary to clean this to the standard I would want when there are other consoles to fix. I don't know if anyone would even want a console that's been disinfested even if I cleaned it out because I wouldn't put it up online without disclosing that it was infested with roaches at one point. And like I said before, smart people wouldn't buy a console infested with roaches. You never know just how infested they've been. Now as I sit here editing this video, I am a bit disappointed that I didn't go further with the disassembly and that I gave up on it. I wish I had pushed a little further in. I don't think I could have saved it, but I could have learned something new, something useful. As it is, I did learn a lesson in knowing your limits. I think I'd reached mine with that console and that's okay. Sometimes you're going to have to abandon a repair because it's just too much. It's quite frankly not worth it. If it just didn't work and it was a hassle and chore to dig down and figure out why, that's one thing, but this was something else. I, I now get why repair shops refuse to take consoles with bugs. It makes sense. It's just such a mess to clean out. 
Fixing isn't the big issue, it's the grime that can permeate every bit of the console. One roach is one thing, but this console had them literally everywhere. They were in the hard drive, the case, in the power supply, everywhere. At least putting it back together is simple. Four screws on top of the power supply, one for the antenna, one on the bottom. The covers pop on and then a screw for the hard drive and that security torque screw for the case. Alright, well I do hope you learned something useful from this video. Hopefully something more than just that roaches are gross. Hopefully you already knew that. I thank you for watching and if you made it this far into the video and didn't gag on the bugs, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. No fixes are inevitable, but hopefully we can have a successful fix on the next video. At this point, I just hope it doesn't have any bugs in it.